from you know just a physical standpoint, I was I was always active. I'm a runner, but I probably ran more for the competitive side of things. I didn't think as much about the health part of it. Dietary, my family would be the first to tell you that um, I was not very good on that side of things. I indulged. I had a lot of special occasions. From a stress standpoint, I'm very type A, and I get wound up about things pretty quickly, but I never thought about a much about him. I thought I was just kind of the average normal person. It was the week of the Big 12 tournament and one of the things that was a goal of mine was to run the Big 12 5k and run it faster than I had done it the year before. So I'd been working out pretty hard and on Sunday night I tried doing a workout and it just it went horrible. It was maybe one of the worst runs I've ever had in my life and I just thought oh gosh I'm getting sick. And so when I got up Monday morning, I had to drive up to Northern Iowa to go watch my daughters compete in a high school track meet that day. And out of town, I stopped off at a local hamburger joint and I did get a double hamburger and fries and a malt and I ate it in the car on the way up there. And why I share that is because um, when the incident started at the track meet, I just assumed it was indigestion, but unfortunately it had nothing to do with that. You know, my body had finally just broken down. When I got to the ambulance, the lights went on and they took me over to Allen Hospital. They kept me overnight and wanted to do a um, uh, angiogram in the morning. And so in the angiogram, I mean, I just assumed, again, you know, worst case scenario, they would maybe give me a stent. And I still remember it like it was, you know, right now that I remember the doctor saying, I can't help him, he needs triple bypass surgery. As soon as he said that, it's like, you know, oh, wow. Got my first helicopter ride and got med flighted down to Des Moines. And when we landed in Des Moines, the surgeon met me and said, you know, I've looked at everything. You're going to have an emergency surgery right now, <laughs> which was, um, you didn't get a lot of time to think about it, which was good. But for me, what happened was, you know, my wife was now driving back from Cedar Falls, and uh, I didn't want to go into surgery prior to having her get there because she thought, you know, well, we weren't going to deal with this till Friday. And, you know, that was the start of your mindset change because I had probably a 20 to 30 minute time period where I was on the gurney outside the operating room waiting for the procedure to start, waiting for my wife to get there. And it gave me a chance to kind of stop and kind of take collection of your life. And I've told people this, you know, at that particular moment, it didn't matter who you were, who you knew, what you did, what you made. You know, you were having a little reckoning with uh, your life. I've carried that forward since the surgery because you go into that surgery not knowing if you're ever gonna wake up. You hope you are, but you know, they tell you all the risks and the risks aren't necessarily always in your favor. I would be less than sincere if I said, you know, it's, it was an epiphany moment. I'm more aware. You know, my diet still isn't perfect. Is it better? Absolutely. Um, could it be better yet? Absolutely. But um, I'm just more aware. I'm certainly more aware of, of stressful situations. And I tend to try to find moments to laugh or moments to say, okay, really? You know, come on. So. From that perspective, it's been really good. Uh, one other piece that I, I always like to share is because a lot of people have said this to me, the issue of, well, you exercised, you know, you worked out, you're a runner, I mean, gosh, then why should I do anything? And um, what my doctor would tell you is that had I not been working out and had I not been in good shape, I wouldn't be here to be talking about it. It was because I was in good shape that I was able to survive what was happening to me and it wasn't as severe on its impact on me as it could have been in terms of damage to my heart and, and quite honestly not being alive. So um, don't underestimate the value of working out. Nobody I've ever met, and I don't know of anybody in the world that's ever defied mortality. So we're all gonna face that ultimate test someday. So why would you uh, go to your final test? So, you know, we wouldn't send our football team out to play the Hawks without uh, having a good game plan. You know, we wouldn't uh, have students at Iowa State take the final exam without studying. So why would you wait for your final exam and not prepare for it? You know, in my particular case, I'm glad that mine was a midterm and it wasn't my final exam and that I passed it.
I'm just very appreciative of the fact that I do have a second chance. I am more cognizant of the things that I value in life from my family to my job to Iowa State and I just am grateful that, and blessed that I get to enjoy those still.